Now we're joined by Hamish Dodd and Jeff Peck to talk about something that's been in the media quite a lot lately, the quality of our water. And because it is home design and Jeff is from Peck's Plumbing Plus, this morning we're going to be talking about filtration. Morning guys. Morning. Good morning. That's right, we've got Jeff along, thank goodness, because I know zero about this. Uh, so Jeff's going to run us through motions. Jeff, tell us what are the different types of filters? Uh, there's lots of different types of filters that you can use, but there's really two main categories. That's uh, rural filtration and town supply filtration. OK, so if you're on town supply, does that necessarily have to be treated? It doesn't have to be treated to make it safe to drink, but it's about the taste and odour of, of the water in your house. Yeah. Right, and people love that taste, don't they, that quality, so this will help improve it. So, so what do you do? Yeah, like, what, what do you do? What do you do for it? Depends. There's two ways you can approach it. You can either have something like that's something that's point of use, so at your kitchen bench, mm -hmm. so you can have a little tap or running through your... Your, um, your existing kitchen tap. So you can run it through the main faucet yeah, or yeah. have a separate, yeah. yeah. Yeah, or you can do the whole house. So as the water comes into the uh, house, you can filter it there. So it doesn't matter where you're taking the water from, it's filtered. Okay, good. How long do they last and how mm. much do they cost? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, the, the big question. Um, they normally last around sort of two, three years for, a, for an, uh, uh, sorry, in a town supply situation. Right. Um, and the cost of replacing the cartridge is about $100, $130, give or take. So okay, so that's, not, that's, not, that's not too much across no. the grand scheme. And, and how often would you have to replace the cartridge? Oh, every sort of two to three years. Oh, two to three years? Yeah, okay, because yeah, yeah. you get a lot, a lot of use out of one cartridge. Yeah, definitely. Can I just go back one more step? What would be the point of filtering all the water in your house? Because I've seen the one that we showed before at the tap, but if you've got filtered water running through your shower, what, does that benefit you as well? Uh, it can help with things like the shower doors and stuff, the discoloration of the glass. Oh, um, nice. But also, too, in your bathrooms where you're brushing your teeth and, you know, quite often an en suite, you might, that's, if you have a glass oh, of water yes, beside your yeah, bed, yeah. that's where you fill your glass of water up. So. Brilliant. Mm. Yeah, what about in a rural setting then where you're getting your know, rainwater either from like a bore or from tanks gathering off the roof? Yeah, do a completely different situation in the sense that you really need to bolster the system up. Um, if it's coming from off your roof, you've got to consider things like um, uh, debris coming off, off the roof, pollen being collected on the roof, those yep. sorts of things and, and how you manage that. But typically you'll have uh, two filters, one for sediment, getting rid of the dirt and dust and things that collect in the tank and off the roof and then also uh, one that's called a polyspun filter and that removes the uh, giardia spores and things like that. Right, so, so once yeah. you've got your filters in place, it's quite environmentally friendly, isn't it? Because you're using natural water, you're filtering it, but the big question again, how often do those filters need to be replaced if you're talking a rural setup? Uh, every 12 months you want to replace both the filters. You can. It does pay to uh, every six months with the pleated one, the first cartridge in the line, to rinse that out with a hose or something like right. that because that's collecting the, the dirt and, and stuff like that. And what will happen is if that gets too blocked up, the flow of water into the house slows right down and next thing you know you're wondering why your shower's not working properly or the kitchen tap's dribbling out and stuff. Mm. So going off now, some of them have like a UV lamps in them, don't they? Yeah, yeah. so you, can, you start with your two filters as your basic situation, then you can add in a UV uh, bulb and that, that what that does is it uh, changes the structure of the bacteria, any bacteria in the water, so it means that it, essentially it becomes as, as clean as it can get. Okay, so is there a way we can minimise, I guess, the contaminants uh, before they get to the, uh, you know, tanks? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's, there's things like, they call it rain harvesting type systems, so there's things you can put to cover the spouting to help stop the leaf debris getting into the spouting to st start with, which will then, you know, potentially flush itself into the tank. Um, there's a whole bunch of different little things you can do to make it cleaner, not only coming into the tank, but also coming out of the tank into the house. You can also get things like your tank vacuumed and cleaned, can't yeah. you? you oh, yes, try yeah. and get that done every couple of years for yeah. sediment build-up. I worked on one property and uh, they were concerned about the asbestos roof, not about the possum we found floating in the tank. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. A special moment. It's, it's, yeah, especially in rural situations, you'd be quite surprised at what comes out of people's tanks. And no doubt what you've shown us, you know, is a great example of what you can get. I guess technology's changed quite a lot over the years, hasn't it? Oh, tech technology and everything is always changing. Um, what we're finding at the moment is a, is a process called reverse osmosis, which typically is, has always been used in uh, commercial applications, hospitals, things like that, where they need high grade or high quality mm. water um, and they've now developed domestic 
processes or that process into a domestic situation. So, yeah. Well, I've got a question for you both, actually, because you're mm. in home design and you're in plumbing. In New Zealand, are we seeing more and more people taking care of their own water supplies, making sure it is filtered and of good quality? Definitely, most, mm. def most definitely across the board. Not only in, in rural situations where it's kind of <coughs> uh, you have to kind of do it, um, but also in, in town supply. Especially now where there is a push for, for places like West Auckland have kind of led the charge where right. you have tanks uh, as supplementary to your main town supplies. So you use that water for basins, laundry, um, toilets, etc. So, yeah. Excellent work. Thank you so much. Thank you, Hamish. No problem. You always bring the right people, don't you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> for more details on any of the systems that we've talked about today, you can pop into one of Jeff's stores or you can go to his website, pex.co.nz. Thank you very much, gentlemen. No, also, yes. that was a good education and more. Order.